Good morning all and welcome to our morning prayer. In the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. We have come together as a family of God in our Father's presence to offer Him praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive His Holy Word and to bring before Him the needs of the world, to ask of His forgiveness of our sins and to seek His grace that through His Son Jesus Christ we may offer ourselves in service. Let us worship and praise Him. Lord, open our lips, that we may glorify and praise Your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O shout to the Lord in triumph over the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before His face with songs of joy. Know that the Lord, He is God that it is He who has made us and we are His. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Come into His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His holy name. For the Lord is good, His loving mercy is forever, His faithfulness throughout all generations. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We come to the moment of penitence. Let us call to mind and confess our sins. We pray together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought, word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We listen to the word of God and we have our psalm of the day. Psalm 107, reading from verse 23 to 43, can be found on page 743 of the Anglican Prayer Book. Those who go down to the sea in ships and follow their trade on great waters. These men have seen the works of God and his wonders in the deep. For he spoke and raised the storm wind, and it lifted high the waves of the sea. They go up to the sky and down again to the depths. Their courage melts away in the face of disaster. They reel and stagger like drunken men and are at their wit's end. Then they cried to the Lord in their distress, and he took them out of their trouble. He calmed the storm to a silence, and the waves of the sea were stilled. Then they were glad because they were quiet, and he brought them to the haven they longed for. Let them thank the Lord for his goodness and for the wonders that he does for the children of men. Let them exalt, exalt him in the assembly of the people and praise him in the council of elders. He turns the rivers into desert and springs of water into thirsty ground. He makes a fruitful land a salty waste because its inhabitants are evil. He turns the wilderness into a pool of water and parched ground into flowing springs. And there he settles the hungry, and they build a city to live in. They sow fields and plant vineyards. They give them fruitful harvests. He blesses them, and they multiply greatly. He does not let their cattle diminish. But he pours contempt upon princes, and makes them stay in the pathless desert. They are weakened and brought low, through the stress and adversity and sorrow. But he lifts the poor out of misery, and increases their families like flocks of sheep. The upright shall see it and rejoice, and all wickedness shall shut its mouth. Whoever is wise, let him observe these things, and consider the loving kindness of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We now listen to our first reading of the day. The first reading is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, reading from verse 14 to 19, taken from the New Revised Standard Version, Anglicized. Thus says the Lord, the wealth of Egypt and the merchandise of Ethiopia and the Sabaeans, 
tall of stature shall come over to you and be yours. They shall follow you, and they shall come over in chains and bow down to you. They will make supplication to you, saying, God is with you alone, and there is no other. There is no God besides him. Truly, you are a God who hides himself. O God of Israel, the Savior, all of them are put to shame and confounded. The makers of idols go in confusion together. But Israel is saved by the Lord with everlasting salvation. You shall not be put to shame or confounded to all eternity. For thus says the Lord who created the heavens, He is God, who formed the earth and made it. He established it, and He did not create it in a chaos. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I did not speak in secret in a land of darkness. I did not say to the offspring of Jacob, Seek me in chaos. I, the Lord, speak the truth. I declare what is right. Here ends the first lesson. The Song of Zechariah Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. He promised to show mercy to our forebears and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abram, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sin. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine upon those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We now have our second reading for the day. The second lesson is taken from the book of Colossians, chapter 1, reading from verse 24 through to chapter 2, verse 7, taken from the New Revised Standard Version and the Sight. I am now rejoicing in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am completing what is lacking in Christ's afflictions for the sake of his body, that is, the church. I became its servant according to God's commission that was given to me for you, to make the word of God fully known, the mystery that has been hidden throughout the ages and generations, but has now been revealed to his servants. To them God chose to make known how great among the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of his mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. It is he whom we proclaim, warning everyone and teaching everyone in all wisdom, so that we may present everyone mature in Christ. For thus I toil and struggle with all the energy that he powerfully inspires within me. For I want you to know how much I am struggling for you, and for those in Laodicea, and for all who have not seen my, me face to face. I want their hearts to be encouraged and united in love, so that they may have all the riches of assured understanding and have the knowledge of God's mystery, that is, Christ himself, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I am saying this so that no one may deceive you with plausible arguments, for though I am absent in the body, yet I am with you in spirit, and I rejoice to see your morale and the firmness, firmness of your faith in Christ. As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, continue to live your lives in Him, rooted and built up in Him, and established in the faith, just as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. Here ends the second lesson. The Song of the Church We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, Cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world the holy church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded. Your true and only Son, worthy of worship, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. 
we overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood. And bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. Let us never be put to shame. We now say the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. We say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord God, we ask you to give us your blessing, to your church, holiness, to the world, peace, to this nation, justice, and to all people, knowledge of your law. Keep safe our families, protect the weak, heal the sick, comfort the dying, and bring us all to a joyful resurrection. We ask these things through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We say the collect of today. Creator God, our souls delight. Your voice thunders over the waters, liberating the future from the past. Speak your affirming word that we may share in the baptism of Jesus Christ, drink from his cup and serve the world in his name, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Collect of Peace for Peace O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life. To serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your servants, from all assaults of our enemies, that we may trust in your defense and not fear the power of any adversaries. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting Father, you have safely brought us to the beginning of another day. Defend us by your mighty power, that we may be kept free from all sin and safe from every danger and enable us this day to do only what is right in your eyes, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Here, as we say every day, you can pause the video, take a moment of silence, and just pray for people in your families, around you, people that you know of, on our pew leaflet, and everywhere that you feel people that need prayers. Take this moment, pause the video, and just take this moment to reflect on these people and to give them up to God for prayer. Blessing and honor and thanksgiving and praise, more than we can utter, more than we can understand, be to you, O holy and glorious Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, from all angels, all people, all creatures, forever and ever. God of all power, we acclaim you. Lord of all grace, we worship you. We are not worthy of you, yet your goodness makes us praise you and give you thanks. We praise you for the life you have given us and for all the blessings we have received at your hand. Above all, we give you thanks for your Son, Jesus Christ, for the grace and hope which his death and resurrection have brought to us. 
We ask this of you, our Father, that we may never forget your goodness to us, and that we may show our thankfulness not only in words, but by the service of our lives, both now and in all eternity. Heavenly Father, your Son promised that whenever we pray in his name, you will hear us. Answer our prayers as may be best for us, granting us in this world the knowledge of your truth, and in the world to come, the fullness of eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. May the Lord bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face shine on us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever. Amen. Thank you once again for joining us with our morning prayer. We look forward to seeing you again. Please join us as tomorrow. Have a blessed day and may God bless you.